Good morning, folks. Just got back from the NRA show. It is Monday morning. I uh, had a really good time. It was nice to drive down to Louisville, and it was just nice to take a little break. I was the first time outside of a machining event that we, we got recognized, which is kind of cool. We had a few folks come up to us, so I thought that was awesome. And I also got to meet my buddy Mike with Key Bar. His, his story is just an awesome story, and I like you know his sort of attitude about you know you got, no one's going to build your castle for you. Um, he does a really bang up job. They just brought all their production in house. He's got a new shop down in Savannah, so it was really cool to meet him uh, and talk with him. And then, oh yeah, on the way back, uh, driving back to Ohio, we stopped at Brian Block's shop. So um, if you don't know him, he's got a YouTube channel, and I'll put a link in the video description. But he runs some big equipment. He won the phase converter at our open house, which is kind of how I got to know him. And so he's got a new shop that he's doing his barn renovation on. He's got these big horizontals, horizontal boring mill, horizontal mill, huge, like eight foot lathe. Uh, so we're gonna actually do a little video here this week on, on visiting his shop, but that was cool. Um, so on Friday, when I was at the NRA show, the folks from Dayton Tool and Supply called and they are the distributor for Seco. And the woman had emailed me nine days prior with a credit application form, which is just a, a new supplier application. And I filled it out within an hour and scanned it back to them, which to me is expedient and appropriate. And I listed three credit references on there. I listed Tormach, Lakeshore Carbide, and Alro Steel. Alro Steel is like one of the biggest five uh, manufacturers of steel or suppliers of steel in the country. And long story short, she said their credit department uh, wasn't, wasn't um, able to accept those three alone and needed two more. And I, um, before we go into this, one of the things I, I want to say is um, there's lots of things that can cause stress and frustration. And I try to stay positive because at the end of the day, being positive is just, it, it makes you feel better. It gets through the day and it's kind of like, I love what I do. There's a lot of stress and it's easy to succumb to that stress. I like staying positive, but some of this tooling stuff is, is a bunch of BS. And I actually kind of, kind of got into it with her. And I said, politely and I said yeah I recognize it wasn't her personal choice but I said look if you want my business I provided you with plenty of information I mentioned some statistics about our business and, and me personally that said look that's where I am um, we would like to do business with you and we would like to purchase Seco tools and I, that means I have to go through you but um, if that's not enough you know here's my point if I can't get that done how is a guy or you know who how is the John Saunders from five years ago when I was in the garage shop when I had you know, below five figures in annual revenue, no business to speak. Of. I don't have a done in Bradstreet number. How am I going to get um, work done with you? You know, your corporate department is wanting me to jump through hoops. Not going to do it. Now, and I'm trying to think, is that a fair response? Am I being too, you know, full of myself? But you know what? I'm not like, I just, I'm just not. If you, you, I'm giving you vendors with whom I have a long relationship. I have ample good credit, blah, blah, blah. And you want me to just keep jumping. Sorry, folks. Um, What's funny is the, on the flip side, the Sandvik rep came by our shop on Thursday, was scheduled, um, wanted to run some inserts that he dropped off in a part, which worked well for a job, was really intrigued, like really cared. Um, their supplier has been actually better to work with. But then here's the better thing. Sandvik is on Amazon. Are you kidding me? Now, I don't know what the pricing is going to be like and whether it's better or worse, but the mere fact that they've taken that channel to me is is super interesting and, and kind of what I was hoping somebody would do. Um, the thing with Seco is I know Seco doesn't control this tool company, Dayton Tool and Supply. You know, that's a distributor. Seco has no you know ability to affect their credit or business decisions, but as a customer, I don't really care. If you're Seco and you want to sell me your tools, you're telling me it's a necessary step to go through somebody else. So if that person is not being, you know, if you can't, like to me, I'm going to say you, you're sort of all the same. You know, you guys choose how and who to work with their distributors and so forth. Um, and again, I want to go back to the point that I have a pretty decent business background and business acumen and I can respond to things thoroughly and I can handle the financial side. And if I can't get an account open with you guys, then, then, then I'm not interested because my the people that follow this channel that are younger sure, sure as hell aren't going to be able to. Um, Kenna Metal, I had such high hopes for Kenna Metal. They, some, I guess some of the videos that we're doing seem to be going through their organization. Awesome. Um, one guy calls me up from Indiana, 
seemed to be a doer and, and really legitimately cared. And that's great. And we talked and I, I sort of just gave him my, you know, when I call a number on your website and that doesn't result in me being able to order a tool because I get transferred, you got to open accounts and that's complex and burdensome and they didn't even want to do it. Um, so we talked about that. Then another guy calls me, uh, I believe from Pennsylvania and, and their IT side and sort of it was funny actually, he was on the phone with me or had just, literally as he was dialing had gotten an email about sort of the NYC CNC thing at the same time, which he kind of, we kind of had a laugh about that it's circulating within Kenna Metal. Um, so this conversation went really well. And then so well that I was like, you know what? I, I, I'd like to give Kenna Metal a second chance. These guys are seem to be really responsive, you know, American made tools. Um, let, let's go ahead with this. And I said, you know, I, I would really like to. And he goes, oh, okay. And then he's like, well, I can't, I can't help you with that. Um, we would need to transfer you to another department. And I'm kind of like, okay, you know, I, I get it. But, you know, the whole point of this conversation was, to me, sort of shifted because what was let's, a phone call that had to do with a two-way relationship seemed to then be something where he was more just interested in how um, they solved the problems on their side and not a two-way sort of thing. But maybe I'm being too harsh. So... But then it, then it just kind of fell apart. What do I do? What happens? I get transferred. I get put on hold. I get there's hold music. I get wait. A customer service representative picks up who doesn't know me from Adam, knows none of the backstory. I got to start over again. What's my name? What am I trying to do? Um, the person, you know, wasn't, they didn't, they weren't excited to like, again, there was none of that enthusiasm. But I'm thinking, okay, fine. Then they couldn't even help me. She's like, what's your zip code? Oh, well, what city is that? And I'm like, well, if I gave you my zip code, you know, wouldn't you know enough about my city to know the region for my sales rep? So then she's like, okay, well, I don't really know if this is the right guy, but I'm going to give you a number. You call him, and if he's not there, he'll call you back. And if he's not your sales rep, he can at least put you in touch with someone. And I'm like, I'm not going to call three or four people. Like, again, maybe I'm, maybe my expectations are out of alignment. But to me, um, the, the, the solution should have started with the first guy, which is, hey, sales isn't my department, but... Um, you know, let me, let me, let me find out who the right person is and I'll have them call you. T to me, that's just how I'd handle it. Um, that's how you should handle it. Um, you know, literally now you gave me every opportunity to hang up the phone or to not make phone calls or to rely on other people who may drop the ball. Um, just, just not awesome. Um, anyways, with that folks, um, I actually got to give a shout out to Brian Block, the guy who I visited. He gave me this coincidentally Kenna Metal tool. It is a CNMP, so negative tool holder, but positive insert. So we're gonna do more on this, but this I think is a really popular choice. Lots of folks were mentioning we should try it in chip break, so thank you for that. Um, the advantage here is you get a stronger tool and more cutting edges, so, so more value, um, but still have that positive free cutting geometry. So more to come on that. We've actually got a bunch of job shop stuff to come this week. I know folks are excited to see the A-bomb parking attachment, which I'm hoping to start machining today. Uh, and yeah, that's, uh, that's it for today's chip break, folks. Take care. Have a good Monday.